Hey, let me show you the first setup of iPhone 16e. And first of all, uh, you have to just select your language from the main screen after you turn on your device. And then you have to select your region. So in my case, there's the default at the top, but if you cannot search yours, you can just scroll up and down to search for your region. Right now we can choose your layout so we can make it bigger or smaller up to your preferences. I'm gonna stay with the medium one. Click continue and here you can quickly set up your device uh, by using your other iPhone or Android. Mm, you can also set up this later. If you want to quickly start that phone, you can click to set up without another device. And here we can set some uh, languages settings like the keyboard language so we can customize right now or set up later in the settings. Uh, let's do this right now. I will actually stay with these two languages and with emoji. If you want to add an additional, click here and select from list. Then click continue. Here you can add languages uh, to use the voice typing. And right now you are able to log in into Wi-Fi network. After you input password into your Wi-Fi, you will get this activation screen, so you will have to take a few moments until you will be welcomed with the next screen. And now, as you can see, we got software update, so we can update right now or later. In my case, I would like to update right now. Here, you will have to accept terms and conditions and click agree in the right bottom corner. And there's some kind of the update issue, so let's go forward and do this later. Then you have to click continue and you can set up your iPhone for yourself or for your child and a family. Uh, for sure, I'm going to do this for myself. Now we can apply your face ID. You can also do this later if you want. And now we can create an iPhone passcode, but you can change that. So by clicking here, you can get the custom alphabetic number code, custom numeric code, four digit numeric code, and you can don't use passcode at all. In my case, I would like to get this one. It's pretty easy to guess, but I'm going to use it anyway. Right now, we can transfer your apps and data so we can perform backup from your iCloud, from other iPhone, from Mac or PC, from Android, or you can don't transfer anything. Now you will have to use your Apple account, so you will have to sign in by using your details. And now after verification, you have to accept terms and conditions by clicking agree in the right bottom corner. And now just wait for the loading screen. Now we can turn on or off automatic system updates. So I'm going to actually select continue. And here you can turn on location services. Right now you are able to set up your mobile service so we can add your eSIM. Uh, you can transfer eSIM from Nerby iPhone or use a QR code. And when you select the second one, you can scan QR code of your eSIM. Or you can also input all of this activation and confirmation codes manually. So that's your choice. In my case, I'm not using eSIM, so I'm gonna set up later in the settings. And instead of the eSIM, I'm using physical SIM cards. Right here, you can get a weekly report with your screen time. Uh, I'm not using this one. I don't want to get this report, so I'm gonna select set up later and settings. Here you can find some analytics, but uh, I don't want to share anything with Apple, so I'm gonna select don't share. And here you can select your display theme, light, dark, or automatic one, it depends on the time. Uh, I will always go with the light one, so click continue. If you want to save some battery, you should actually go with the dark one. Right here we can find an action button that you can customize, for example, to turn silent mode on and off. And I'm gonna customize it right now. Why not? Uh, I would like to actually get torch linked into this button. So there's the torch, I'm gonna click continue. And this is the button on the left upper corner above the volume buttons. When you turn it on uh, like that, you, sh you should actually get your action. As you can see, in my case, it actually turns on and off flashlight. And here we can find some emergency SOS. Um, you can click continue. And now we can swipe up to finished. And as you can see, right now, you can simply customize your iPhone up to your preferences.